A fully reusable rocket has often been called the holy grail of rocketry, and while SpaceX has been pursuing full reuse with Starship for a number of years now, it is not at all surprising that Blue Origin also has plans to build a fully reusable rocket. More precisely, they want to convert New Glenn into a fully reusable rocket by recovering the second stage. There's been a lot of speculation about this topic over the years, with the so-called Project Jarvis thing that got people talking for a little bit, but that eventually fizzled out. But now, we have something new to talk about. This patent filed by Blue Origin. Now, before we start going through it, it is important to note that companies will often file patents that they never plan on acting on as a way to mislead competitors. But based on how Jeff talked about the second stage reuse in his tour with Everyday Astronaut, I think it is at least one of the plans they are exploring. So what's in this patent? Quite simply, it is pretty much just a copy of Stokes Space's design, which, if you're not familiar, is a second stage that is made up of many small nozzles arranged in a circular pattern that combine their exhaust to create a sort of aerospike effect for the engine. These nozzles extend through cutouts and a heat shield mounted to the aft end of the stage. Re-entry of course then occurs bottom first, unlike Starship which enters side first. This uh, creates a problem though, if you, uh, if you didn't notice, because there are holes actually in the heat shield for the nozzles. Hot gas will obviously flow into those holes and mess all sorts of things up. So to solve this problem, Stokes Place, and also Blue Origin for that matter, plan on flowing a small amount of propellant through the nozzles to create a type of active cooling which creates a sort of gas bubble that blocks plasma from entering the engines. After entry, the stage will coast down and relight its engines to do a, in quotes, normal propulsive landing. Awesome. So that's the plan. And I do a at some point want to make a video comparing SpaceX and Stokes Space's design for full reuse as I think the different approaches are really fascinating and I'm honestly not quite sure which one I think is better. But this video is about New Glenn and one problem I do see is that they don't appear to have changed the dimensions of the stage itself in this patent because Stokes Space's design is more reminiscent of a capsule in the way it tapers up. This helps keep heat away from the unshielded tank walls further up the stage. In Blue Origin's patent though, I'm not quite sure how they plan on protecting the unshielded tanks and fairings, for example, as if the spacecraft is at all pointed off the velocity vector, those vulnerable areas are just going to get blasted by plasma. The fact that it is also quite a skinny stage and appears to lack any sort of aero surfaces does present some sort of additional stability concerns during descent. So the question has to be asked, will it work? Is this actually a valid design? Well. Let's test it out, shall we? So I made a little mock-up of the concept here in Kerbal Space Program, and I want to go through a launch and attempt to demonstrate full reuse of New Glenn. So perhaps after just looking at the newly redesigned full stack, you may be able to notice a few perhaps subtle differences. The first of which is that there are landing legs now at the bottom of the second stage, which would be expected if you're trying to well, land it. And the other change, which is a little more kind of small, a little bit harder to see with the naked eye, is that the entire stack is actually a little bit smaller now. It got shrunken, and that is, of course, because without the two BE-3U engines and their big giant nozzle extensions, we do not need the interstage to be as long. So that's kind of nice, you know, sure get rid of a few meters there. But we are nonetheless starting our ascent and starting the gravity turn with our seven BE-4 engines firing. This is, of course, a modded New Glenn. If you would like to download the mod and check it out, you can do so via the link in the description below. You'll, of course, get a regular New Glenn and not the basically modded modded New Glenn, which I have with this kind of new second stage design, but you'll get a nice, cool new Glen to use. Also, because there was unfortunately no Blue Origin drone ship mods for KSP, we are going to be landing this booster on a SpaceX drone ship, which is, I know, a little blasphemous, but that's kind of all I had available to me. So we are going to be landing on, of course, I still love you, which is a little weird, but we are at Miko here and we can separate the stages and get our very first look at our new second stage with full reuse capability as we start powering our way in orbit. We can see all of those lovely 
nozzles sticking out the back of it. But we'll talk a little more about that in a minute or two. First, we have a, a booster to land. So we are going to reorient it and get ready to perform our Exo Endo Atmospheric Reentry Burn thing or the other. They have a super fancy name for it. Us regular people like to just call it an entry burn, but you know, they can do things their way as we light up three BE4 engines for that. Don't know how many they'll use in real life, maybe three, maybe one, I guess we'll see when slash if, probably when it ends up flying. But now we can start targeting the drone ship for our landing. You can see those canards starting to move. Kind of interesting, the different reuse approaches SpaceX and Blue Origin are taking. Blue Origin has those canards instead of the grid fins, and they also have those big strake things that Jeff says produces quite a bit of lift, and Falcon obviously doesn't have anything like that, or Starship for that matter, but we can now light up three BE-4 engines for the landing burn, getting ready to deselect down to one just as we come over the drone ship. And there we go down to one. I may have done that a little bit early because we're still coming in with kind of a fair amount of speed here as the landing legs come out. Oh boy, donk. Well, we, we made it. For reference, that was about as hard as SN10 landed, so yeah. Luckily, rockets and KSP are real chunky, but we're kind of seesawing back and forth and go ahead and just kind of squat it on down with using the, the, spring, the spring strength right there. I can, I can speak, can't I? There we go. Nice and easy. But now for the exciting part, and that is second stage re-entry, or that may look like second stage re-entry because I may have flown this ascent profile a little bit flat as we come screaming through the atmosphere here with our 20 nozzles. I don't know if it's technically accurate to say 20 nozzles or engines or some combination of that because, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Stoke Space actually just has one power head with a, like 20 or 30 nozzles sticking out the bottom of it. It's actually just one engine. I assume Blue Origin would want to take a similar approach but, you know, the patent doesn't necessarily specify, so maybe that's like 20 engines, which would be weird and probably dumb. So we're going to just go with the, the nozzle thing for now. But as we are in orbit, that isn't really all that important because what matters is what happens when we get out of orbit. So here we are doing our de-orbit burn, getting ready to target the Kerbal Space Center for a nice little landing, and this is where we get to see how this new design can actually function through an entry, and, eh, spoiler warning, not terribly, but actually, yeah, I would say pretty good, we'll see here in a minute, so we're gonna get ready to start flowing a little bit of propellant through the engines to kind of make that little shield of gas bubbly things to stop from stop the hot gases the plasma from going right up into that nozzle and melting everything in our in our stage here so we're going to do that also going to help us get a little bit of control because we can throttle the engines up if you want to pull our target in and throttle them down if you want to pull our target out as we start to see that big giant plasma trail as we come burning through the atmosphere not burning but kind of singeing through the atmosphere i guess would be a more accurate word here as we have to start getting lower we start seeing some temperature gauges and starting to get into the thicker parts of the atmosphere which is the arrow effects start to actually have an effect as we can oh boy oh boy took quite a bit of quite a bit of gas there to keep us stable as we yeah this shape is not the best shape for you you want a bottom you want your entry stage to be as bottom and as flat and wide as possible. This does not take heedance of that wisdom, as this is a very skinny by, you know, re-entry vehicle standards. But not important, we are going to be targeting our landing pad now, which is not exactly the easiest thing to do, because aside from those Vernier engines, once we get through heating and we don't have the, the thrust anymore from the engines, there really isn't much cross-range capabilities for this thing. There's no aero surfaces like I mentioned before, so we're just kind of using those vernier thrusters to try and do as best as we can to target that landing pad as we come through about four kilometers in altitude, now getting ready to start up the engines for that landing burn as we come down, 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 down. Coming down pretty quick. This isn't Starship not doing any belly flops, so we have a lot of velocity down as we relight those engines for its landing burn hitting about five g's as we slow down but now we can bring it in 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 we can kind of do our little level off here the patented blue origin hover maneuver as we bring down those landing legs and kind of translate on over right into the middle of that pad as we come down 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 oh i 
I didn't realize we were that high off the ground when I cut the engine, so a little bit of a firm landing again, but that should just about do it. That is demonstrated full reuse for New Glen. So, I'd like to say thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Please rate or comment to this video. Once again, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. And bye.